Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 34. That is, what is static testing? Let me answer. Static testing in simple terms is nothing but the testing performed without running the code that is developed by the developers, okay? We are performing some testing which doesn't require you to run the code which is developed by the developers. That testing falls into the static testing. There's an opposite for the dynamic testing where you perform testing by running the code, okay? By running the code that is developed by the developers, if you are testing, that means that is dynamic testing. Whereas without running the code, if you are performing the testing, that is called as static testing. What are the different activities that fall into the static testing, okay? What as part of static testing we have to perform? Let me showcase now. Here we have static analysis and reviews, okay? These are the, at a high level, these are the two activities that we generally perform as part of static testing. Okay, these two activities that I mentioned here, static analysis and there are different type of reviews guys, okay? Static analysis and different type of reviews doesn't need you to run the code and perform testing, okay? Without running the code, you can perform static analysis. Without running the code, you can perform reviews. Hence, these activities will fall into the static testing category. Okay, so what exactly is static analysis now? Let me explain static analysis. So in static analysis, you see what happens uh, at real time is, okay? Developers will be writing the code for the application, right? They will be writing thousands of lines and thousands of files will be there, right? As a project, they will be creating a very big project where we are writing lengthy code, okay? A lot of code will be there for developing the application. So this code, the developers have to check, okay? This code, the developers have to test. How? They have to test each and every line. First line, they have to check. Second line, they have to check. How they have to check? They have to check whether this particular first line has quality code or not. Good code has been written or not. And also the developers have to check each and every line with multiple checks they have to do. For each and every line, the developers have to check whether the line written is, have, is having good quality code or not. Then they will check whether there are any syntax mistakes in the code, okay? Is the code properly written or not, okay? The best practices are used and uh, the best way or better way of writing the code is being done for this line, they will check. They will check whether they will check whether this particular line of code or piece of code is written in a secured manner, okay? Without compromising the security, whether they have written like that multiple checks will be there. For each and every line, the developer has to check whether there is a good code, good quality code, syntax is good or not, uh, best practices are used, or optimized code has been written and secured code has been like that multiple checks will be there, guys. Okay. If the developer has to do this activity manually. It is a very tedious process for the developers, okay? Who will perform static analysis? Developers only will perform static analysis, but if the developers have to manually check each and every line of code across this multiple checks, that's not a easy process. That's a very tedious process. So what the developers will do is, they will depend on some tools like, there are different static analysis tools available in the market, guys. Like uh, one of the example is SonarCube, okay? SonarCube is one of the, static analysis tools available in the market, what the developers will simply do is instead of manually checking this, they'll simply input this particular project files to this SonarCube static analysis tool and SonarCube will scan this particular lines and uh, across multiple checks and it will generate a report, guys, okay? It will generate a report for you. The report will contain what are the problems or mistakes in the code, okay? So is a code using the good quality code has been written or not, the syntax is correct or not, best practices are followed or not, secure, security of the code is good or not, and many, many more things will be given in the report by the sonar cube. So here manual is not so easy guys, okay? So developers for performing the static analysis will input the code they have written to the tools like sonar cube. There are many tools available in the market. Sonar cube is one of the tools and generate the report and based on the results coming in the report, developers will fix the problems, okay, in the code. Here we are not running the code anywhere, right? We are only checking the code. Here without running the code, developers are performing the static analysis. So that's why static analysis falls into the, which category? It falls into the static testing category. So here the tool the developers may use for performing the static analysis is one of the tool is example is SonarCube. Let me take you to the website of the SonarCube so that you can understand more about uh, static analysis here. Just click on this. So SonarCube is one of the static analysis tools available in the market, which checks the 
code quality and code security. You see, it automatically checks the code quality and code security. Manually checking the code quality and manually checking the code security is not so easy, guys. Okay. What the developers will do is whatever the code they have written, they will just pass that code. Okay. They will input that code to this tool like Sonar Cube, and Sonar Cube will give this kind of report based on the results coming. Developers have to fix the problems. Okay. So a lot of advantages are there, guys. Okay, with Sonar Cube, it will save a lot of time for the developers while performing static analysis. Now, now you understood what is static analysis and uh, how that can be performed without running the code which is developed by the developers, right? So we simply pass the code to the tools like Sonar Cube and Sonar Cube will give the results. That's why static analysis falls into the static testing category. Similarly, guys, there are different type of reviews. Okay, without running the code developed by developers, we can perform different type of reviews. Okay, we can perform testing without running the code with the help of reviews. What are the different type of reviews available? Walkthroughs, inspections, code reviews, technical reviews, pair program. I'm not going to explain all the reviews for you here because that will be out of topic anyhow for this uh, answer. So these are the different type of reviews we have like walkthroughs, inspections, code reviews, technical reviews, and pair programming. So as part of these reviews at a high level, what we generally do is we can review a BRS document. We can review a test case document. We can review a test plan document. We can review low level and high level designs. We can review the architectural diagrams created by the developers. We can review the code that has been written by the developers. Here we are not running the code anywhere. Okay. While performing the reviews, we are only reviewing the things. Okay. We are we are not running the code anywhere, right? As so walkthroughs. Walkthroughs means uh, you know right uh, just walk through through the either uh, SR, SRS document or VRS document or uh, any low level high level design. You are just walking through. Okay, but you are not running the code anywhere. So you are walking through it with an intention of finding the mistakes in the documents or code. Okay, but without running the code, you are doing that. Inspections. It's a strict process. Okay, it's a it's a casual process. Inspection is official process. Code review. A senior person will be doing the code review kind of thing to identify the mistakes in the uh, code uh, that you have written. Technical review. A technical person will will be reviewing the code and uh, suggesting you a lot of stuff, how the things has to be changing and all. Pair programming. Two people sitting side by side. Okay, one person will be writing the code, other person will be reviewing the code side by side. Such kind of things are there. Different type of reviews are there. None of the reviews will require you to run the code that is developed by the developers. Without running the code developed by the developers, reviews can be tested. Okay, we can perform testing with, with the help of reviews. Here, reviews will be done by different people, guys. Okay, in case of uh, the complete project team also will be involving sometimes. Okay, testers will do the reviews, developers will do the reviews, different teams will do the reviews. Okay. All this uh, static analysis and reviews fall into the static testing because we are performing testing without running the code which is developed by the developers. And what is the advantage, guys? Why we have to perform static testing? Why we have to test something without running the code that is developed by the developers? What are the advantages? The main advantages here are to prevent the defects, guys. Okay, to prevent the defects in the software. Okay, beforehand only we are performing review so that defects will not occur in the application. Okay, to prevent them to prevent the defects from occurring in the application. And why we have to prevent the defects? Because if you prevent the defects, it becomes very less costly, guys, okay? So if you prevent the defects later, after the application is uh, uh, application is uh, completely developed and given to the software testers for testing as part of system testing and all, when the, develop, uh, when the testers will find the defects, the cost of fixing the defects will definitely rise there, okay? But here, in this case, just a modification of the code or it's just a modification of the things in the documents and all right it's kind of very less costly to fix the defects and is very easy to fix guys not only less costly to fix the defects or problems beforehand by preventing the defects occurring in the real software okay which which is generally running so instead of that you see here it is very easy to fix and it's a very less it's less costly to uh, resolve the problems beforehand okay those are the advantages of the static testing guys so hope guys uh, you understood what exactly is this static testing and uh, hoping that you will be able to answer this if you come across this kind of question in the interviews. So with this guys we are done with this session. The next session I'm going to answer the next software testing interview question for you. Till then see you. Bye bye.